Welcome to the first episode of Sunday Stand-Up, where I explain software engineering concepts, summarize technical books, give startup and career advice, or review cool developer tools in three minutes or less, just like a real stand-up. And in today's episode, I will talk about code smells and how they can make your code suck. So what are code smells and why are they bad? Code smells are common programming characteristics that might indicate a problem in your code. But unlike a bug or an incorrect implementation, smells are usually problems that arise because of poorly written code. And the best way to avoid code smells is to understand the common ones and learn how to avoid them. Here are the five most common code smells that software engineers fall trapped to all the time, especially beginners. First, the God class. This is a class that starts off with good intentions. For example, to validate whether a string is a valid email address or not. And then a few days later, you need to make sure that your name is formatted correctly as well. And since email and name are kind of related, you plump that method into the same class as well. Then comes time zone conversion. You aren't really sure where to put that one, so you throw it in there as well. And in no time, that email validation class contains 50 methods and 6,000 lines of code and has turned into one God class to rule them all. Don't do this. Learn about the single responsibility principle. Also, this idea applies to methods as well, not just classes. Second, the never ending parameter list. If a function accepts more than four or five parameters and the list keeps growing, something is wrong with the design. It's a telltale sign that the method either depends on too many things or it's trying to do too many things. If the parameters are genuinely related, at the very least, they should be encapsulated within an object. So the next time you spend 30 minutes thinking about how to best format a method that has a dozen parameters, think about refactoring the method instead. Third, comments that shouldn't exist. This one is pretty straightforward. Stop making bad naming choices and then try to cover them up with lengthy comments. If your method names, variable names, and code flow itself is descriptive enough, you should very rarely need comments. And on those rare occasions where you do need comments, get straight to the point. If you need to provide extra context, just tag a bug or a task. Don't write a damn essay. Also, don't check in commented code, delete it. If you need it back, you can grab it from the commit history. Fourth, magic numbers. This is probably the most annoying one. You're debugging an issue in your code base and come across a conditional that reads like this. Well, what the fuck is 90 and what the hell is it supposed to mean? Why not 71 or 209? Well, these are magic numbers and they are random numbers sprinkled around the code base whose meaning not even the code owner understands. If you must use hard-coded numbers like that, at the very least declare them as constants with descriptive names. Better yet, put them in a common configuration file and write a wrapper to grab them when needed. That way you will never need to mess with your code when these values change, even when entire configurations change. Fifth, switch statements from hell. Switch statements themselves aren't bad, but the developers who abuse them are. A simple switch statement can quickly turn into a switch statement from hell with more than 20 different cases with no upper bound. If you find yourself writing code like this, learn about polymorphism and how you can leverage that within the factory or the strategy pattern to write better, more modular code. And make sure to check out this video to learn about more good coding habits so that you can become an even better software engineer. I'll also link related books and articles for further reading into code smells because there are hundreds of them and some are pretty complicated that wouldn't fit in this video. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.